Last week, I made a video about my WordPress tech stack going into 2023. And if you didn't catch that video, you should see a card popping up right here. I also teased out that I would do a follow-up video of all my non-WordPress tech stack stuff. So here we are. But as I started prepping for this video, I realized just how many different apps I used. So for this video, I actually narrowed it down to my top 10 that I use the most frequently. So hopefully there's something in this list that's new to you. And I wanna to try to develop some more content based on these items. So if there's anything in here that jumps out to you that you'd like to see more videos on, please leave me a comment down below so that I can follow this up with some other ways that I use these specific tools. So let's dive in and take a look. Now I'm both ashamed and really proud to say that I have about a hundred different Airtable bases and they manage a huge range of different things inside my agency. But the one I use the most is my project management database. It actually works to manage all my projects and tasks as well as a CRM to manage all my clients. All those things link together and they work off of a ton of different automations that keep me on task every day. There's actually a link down in the description where you can purchase some of my favorite Airtable bases I've created. They're all built specifically for the use of web agencies. I finally got all of my sites and my client sites moved over into Cloudflare. Now I really don't love managing DNS records, but Cloudflare makes it a little bit easier. Not only do sites propagate a whole lot quicker, but they've also added a notes field where you can add a note for each one of your records that you add so you can come back and reference it later and remember what you were doing. I also use the email routing when I need to create a quick inbox for something that I can just forward to one of my main email addresses. Now I spent about 15 years as a graphic designer working every single day inside of Adobe Illustrator. And when I moved to the web, I was still trying to use it, but I learned pretty quickly that it wasn't the best tool for the job. I started using Figma about a year ago and I've really fallen in love with the tool. Not only can I use Figma to lay out all kinds of different website designs, I can also use the components and auto layouts to make everything scale even easier than you could in any other kind of design tool. Speaking about Adobe, I actually spent years trying to learn how to use Premiere Pro to make videos like this one, and I always struggled. It was so much more complex than I really needed. But when I got my MacBook Pro, I went ahead and fired up iMovie to see if it would work. Luckily, it does everything I need for these simple types of videos. Most of it's just me doing jump cuts to take out all of my mistakes. I really don't need to do anything too fancy. I'm pretty much constantly managing four different inboxes. And I know there are a lot of tools that do this, but when I was using my PC, all those tools really made it lag. I found Kiwi for Gmail a couple years ago, and it's a really simplistic app, but it works so flawlessly on any of my computers. I can quickly tab back and forth to different inboxes, and it feels pretty native to Gmail. Loom is one of those tools that I don't know how I lived without. I'm in Loom every single day trying to record different videos to show people how to do things or walk them through different demonstrations. A lot of times what I'm doing is technical and trying to explain that in text is too hard. But with Loom, I can click the browser extension, record the video, and instantly have a link to share with anyone. I've just recently adopted Notion as a replacement for Google Docs. My Google Docs were completely out of control, and with Notion, I have a lot more control over being able to organize those documents, and the actual document editor itself is just beautiful with all the different kind of embeds and different blocks that it includes. I've been using OBS for a couple years now, for recording videos like this one or conducting live streams, whether it's just a screen share or an interview with somebody across the world, OBS handles all of that and it's free and open source. Text Expander is another one of my favorite tools. I put all kinds of things in there like email addresses, website URLs, canned emails, and even plugin licenses, and I can call those things out with quick keyboard shortcuts no matter where I'm at. I spend a minimum of five hours a week inside of video calls. And honestly, I don't think there's any better platform than Zoom. I can record locally or to the cloud. I can live stream my meetings. I can control who has access and it integrates perfectly with my Gmail calendar. Now there are actually a ton more tools that I use, but these are the 10 tools that I'm in pretty much every single day. Like I said at the top of this video, if there's any tools you'd like to learn more about or I could show you how I'm using those tools in my agency, make sure to leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit subscribe so you can see your requests when I put those videos out. We'll catch you on the next one. Do you offer WordPress website maintenance plans for your clients? Join the nearly 4,000 agencies and freelancers who have unlocked the secret to quickly growing their recurring revenue with the website owner's manual. Learn how the WOM works at theadminbar.com forward slash WOM and save 30% at checkout with the code YouTube.